Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwash and I'm back with another one watch five looks right so today's uh, subject of this uh, my watch uh, strap fashion show is my citizen ny0040 this is the full loom full loom dial version i can't remember the reference number for this particular piece but if you are to search for this particular piece it's going to be quite difficult because i think they have somewhat discontinued it and replace replace this entire uh, series with the ny0080 and ny0090 so uh, i'm lucky enough to get this a few years back and i've been thinking to sell this so, so many times before and replacing it with the um, ny00 or the name uh, ny0090 but uh, you know what i i, I kind of love the look of this full loom dial right so quick dimension for this particular piece though this is a 42 millimeters in diameter 48 millimeters in lug to lug and a thickness of just below 13 millimeters at about 12.6 and the lug width of 20 millimeters making it a quite a versatile watch of course if you want the versatility you better go for the black color dial but what i have is this full loom dial which is not that bad right so anyway let's start with the um first strap which is this very very cool uh herringbone style or herringbone uh, strap from rsmwatchstrap.com so this is a company from singapore and yeah they've kindly enough sent to send me this uh, cool straps right so this is of course a single piece and you can see that at the back here there is only just one uh, layer of material which is at about uh, 1.5 millimeters in thickness and for me it is just a nice size and a nice style because i don't like two pieces of material underneath my watch all right so of course the the width is 20 millimeters because this watch is uh, in uh, the lug width of this particular piece is 20 millimeters and it features this uh, brush you no know, brush buckle with a polished side which is quite nice to be completely honest and the adjustability is very very nice because it's, it's very easy to use because you can adjust it according to your wrist size whether your wrist size is small maybe up to uh, maybe down to six min six inches and up to eight millimeters of uh, wrist size could wear this piece and yeah we have a sign buckle here where the wall rose right so this is an official uh, rsm watch strap uh, logo there right so we have a circular pattern holes here and it is nicely uh, heat sealed to ensure a long uh, that this holes and the end of the strap would not would not uh, free all right so let's put it on the wrist but before we do that let's do a quick wristwatch check today i am wearing my steel dive squale homage but this one is the version that we have uh, we have requested them to um, to make for our MWM or micro band micro brand watch Malaysia group so we name this particular watch the COVID diver professional so how cool is that right so I've I've done a an initial review for this or five minutes review for this particular piece and a full review coming soon and I've paired it paired this blue um, bit blasted watch with a green or navy green uh, kodura strap from Vario singapore and i think this combo looks absolutely nice in my opinion at least right so let's take this one off and put the citizen ny0040 on my 6.75 inch wrist so you can see that i you know what lately i prefer green color <laughs> i just i don't know why it's just you know what well, I've just warming up to the green color very green color variation of the strap so lately almost all of that of of the strap that I've I've ordered have a green hue to it and I just think they are cool right so this is how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist so take note that the thick because of the thickness of the strap and also the position of the spring bars it does have it will have that kind of look but i don't really mind it but check out that shiny that sheen there that the strap has given to the, to the watch and yeah i just love this color tone all right so let's go to strap number two which is from the og from the original <laughs> guys that has been doing this for this for many many times many many times many many years right so this is from blue shark dot strap 
or is it blueshackstraps.com? I can't remember. But anyway, I will leave a link down below if you guys want to get the exact uh, strap or even something uh, that is almost similar to this one. All right, so this is uh, the I think they call this Alpha Premier uh, strap from blueshackstraps.com, and it comes with this super duper soft 1.2 millimeters in thickness or in thinness. I must say, this is of course. Um, you know what there is a two piece of material down there but because this is quite thin it doesn't really add that much of thickness to the watch itself right so it features this uh, blue shark uh, brush logo that is signed and we have a movable keeper on this side and a fox fits keeper here and the uh, we have another keepers here and it is it comes with these uh, rectangular style holes which is not my favorite to be completely honest but as you can see here it doesn't really fray that much but even it frays if it frays you can just uh, use your lighter and uh, somehow put the uh, fraying out of the way right so so you can see that this is very very long right so on my wrist so let's just put it on my wrist this thing i reckon could fit people with uh down to right so down to 6.5 if you are six inches mm, it's not, might be you might be very lucky if you can put it on the first hole right so i think maybe people with uh, eight inches of wrist or even 8.5 inch wrist so maybe can pull this one off right so you can see there are tons of materials left on this particular piece uh, particular strap and i just love that zigzag pattern vintage bond colorway and uh, like i mentioned just now i <laughs> some somehow i prefer green these days so i don't know why but yeah i just prefer green now this very very cool colorway in my opinion right so let's go to strap number three which is a black number from the lovewatchstrap.com so if uh, if the um, blue shark strap is my favorite strap maker from the united states of america for the uh, for the seat belt style neto but this time around in asia from asia from singapore right so i just love this lovewatchstrap.com uh straps because one th a few things right? the first is of course the material that they use is very very thin and very soft and supple and you can see that even though this color is black uh, you can see that there's still a bit of shine or sheen to it and the design of the strap right so the design of the strap is that uh, the buckle will always be under the under your wrist right so i will show you guys later but this is how it looks of course it comes with this laugh or laffy logo from the uh, anime animation uh, one piece animation and we have a movable keeper on the second keeper the first keeper is fixed and the, the love watch strap is uh, buckle is signed of course it features a brush buckle but i think if you don't like brush finishing you can always go for the um, polish finishing right so that, that, that's, let's just see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist and show you a bit on how it differs from other strap makers that you could find on the internet all right so yeah you can see oh the holes are in this circular pattern here which for me i prefer much much i prefer compared to the ones on the rectangular one and yeah you can see that it sits just nice and it doesn't really add that much of a thickness to the watch and when you put it on the first keeper and the second keeper boom you don't really have to fold it back right so as the ones that you see on the uh, blue shark and this is how i like it all right so i just i i you don't really have to um, tuck it in so you just have to slide the uh, keeper like so uh, but if you do want to tuck it back in so it doesn't really matter you just slide it like so and tuck it back if you prefer it to be this way right so for me i prefer it i prefer it to be like that and and you can see that the end of this strap right so the end is this strap is featuring this v shape so yeah very very nice um for me at least because it kind of differs from other strap that you would find on the market nowadays all right so let's go to strap number three number four sorry which is this what do they call this i think they call this lux nato <laughs> i can't remember the name that these makers uh put for their straps but yeah i think it is lux nato maybe or i anyway i will of course leave a link down below for you guys to check out for yourself but this one is quite a simple one a single piece uh strap with this what do you call this not 
SV as this one, but it's uh, something similar, right? So it's a much, I think it's about 1.2 or 1.1 millimeters in thinness, in thickness. And you can see that there are tons of holes here that could fit uh, quite, you know what, a variant uh, of free sizes here. And yeah, of course, it features this adjustable system here where you can, you just, you can, where you can just adjust the uh, length of the strap according to your resize. And this one is on in the... Uh, this beige and red colorway and unfortunately it is not signed the keepers uh, buckle here and uh, what I do like about this version of the strap is that this the extra heat sealing that they did for the underside of the straps which makes the holes uh, supposed to you know what uh, supposed to help it in terms of reducing the fraying of the hole of the strap holes right so sometimes when you buy this sign this style of uh, strap the first thing that would go or would break is this are uh, these holes because because they are a bit uh, too too thin so that is why when you do when some strap maker do extra uh, heat sealing i think it would give you a much much more li re uh, reliability in the future so this is how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist very very nice colorway somehow matches the red color it text on the citizen ny004 ny0040 dial and yeah i just love this combination all right so let's go to the fifth strap which is this cool um bar, uh, ballistic nato from vario singapore so they have they've had this line this ballistic nato line for the I think since the beginning of their products of their product in in their product lineup, but recently they've added this uh, sergeant badge to the strap, and that makes it look badass, right? So I, I'm not a sergeant, I'm not a military personnel, <laughs> so I have no idea whether this is correct or not. But I think it is the correct <laughs> logo. But yeah, still very very cool addition to the uh, to their line of straps, right? So of course it features this quite a thick um, material here maybe 1.3 or 1.4 millimeters in thickness very very uh, sturdy but still soft and the uh, buckle here or buckle here featuring this um, what they call this zulu style buckle with a vario sign logo up top and we have two fixed keepers here it's properly stitched in nothing with nothing that would, would hurt your uh, wrist uh, so yeah this is how it looks on my wrist and i just think this one looks absolutely badass and looks um looks the purpose right so somehow if i am a military guy i would uh, use this kind of strap but yeah still very very nice for your daily use right so for you to go to work or for you to just uh, go ahead and do your morning jogging right so yeah i just love this um khaki color and with this combination with the uh, that yellow dial of the citizen ny0040 all right guys so what do you guys think that of my selection for this citizen ny0040 right so basically the purpose of this kind of video is for me to give you some suggestions all right so on how you can dress up or dress down or even make your watch looks new again all right so if you guys like this kind of video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe bye bye